And of course, the word dinosaur did not actually exist until 1841. The word would have been dragons, meaning terrible lizard. The same creature is described in detail by Marco Polo, Alexander the Great, Herodotus, often called the father of all history. One can only wonder how a creature of that size gets underneath the ground. And accordingly, we find soft tissue in these enormous animals, such as the Triceratops, hollow, transparent, and flexible blood vessels. The presence of soft vessels is enigmatic. That's a key word for it most definitely should not be there if the animal were even tens of thousands of years old, much less making claims of millions very difficult to swallow when you find actual gooey, fresh and soft dinosaur soft tissue like this extremely juicy looking bloody T-Rex tissue seen on the screen right here. Or one might prefer little bitty baby dinosaurs like these actual soft tissue young dinosaur embryos. Or how about this mysteriously fresh zoomed in on tissue. That's hadrosaur blood right there passing through that vein. And here's an entire and complete hadrosaur with plenty of soft tissue. Though it can make the heart sink just a little bit to learn that government secular sciences and those in support of the beliefs of Darwinism currently refuse at any price to test soft tissue found now all across the globe from these animals. There are those such as Dr. Don Patton who did some of the investigations on Malachite Man, the first of a number of skeletons was found in the same strata as dinosaurs, as well as research out in Glen Rose, Texas, where you have the longest sets, and certainly not the only sets, of human footprints that are present with dinosaur footprints, more of which appear the more ground you excavate up, by the way. Dr. Don Patton as well as teams of other doctors in the United States have tested more than a hundred unfossilized pieces of dinosaur bone. I bet you'll never guess how many of them test teeming with carbon-14, i.e. young.